Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine here, and if you're new, uh, here's a few things about me. I love garlic french fries, and I am currently obsessed with the show Empire. I know I'm like late to the game, but I don't really watch cable TV, and my husband and I just got Hulu, so I'm just uh, I'm having a great old time with that show, and Cookie is like my spirit animal. <laughs> so, okay, today I'm back with a new review video, and I recently picked up uh, this Bobbi Brown primer. Well, it's a moisturizer and primer in one, and it's called the Vitamin Enriched Face Base, and it has shea butter, vitamins C and E in it. Now, I believe Bobbi Brown makes two moisturizer slash primers, um, this one, of course, the Vitamin Enriched Face Base, which is more for combination slash oily skin. And then she also makes a hydrating face base, which is for dry slash normal skin. So since my skin has just been acting a little bit more on the oily side, I'm usually oily combination, but now I'm like a little bit more oily than I'm usually, <laughs> um, I decided that, you know, I really needed something that was a little bit more mattifying yet didn't make me look like a cake face. So I went to Sephora and I picked this up. Now I have used it once, so it won't be like a first impression kind of review, but I wanted to share my experience with you guys. So what I'll be doing is I'll be applying this, showing you guys how it looks like with my foundation on, and then I'll be doing like a check-in with you guys. And let's say I'm gonna do like a six hour check-in because it's about the early afternoon now. So six hours from later, I'll show you guys how my face looks. Um, based on the first time I used this, I got spectacular results, but you know what? I want you guys to be the judge for yourselves and let me know what you think about the final product in the comments section. So if you're new here, please subscribe and uh, let's get started. Well, hello there. Now you guys are all up and close in my business. Um, I've got a little friend right here. He was uh, residing in my face and I decided to serve him his eviction papers and basically just picked at it. So <laughs> now I've got a little bit of a scar on here, but whatever, I can turn it into a mold later on. Um, I wanna show you guys what this looks like. Now, since this is a moisturizing primer, um, you know, it does come with this little like cap thing on here. And you know, you can keep that. I like to protect the rest of the moisturizer from the actual cap, you know? Um, but it's really, really nice. First of all, it smells divine, like citrus and like flowers, but it hasn't been irritating on my sensitive skin, which is really nice. Um, now, since this is a moisturizer, I usually do my whole face routine minus my moisturizer because I don't wanna be too oily. Like, why apply two moisturizers when you can only just use this one? You know what I mean? So it's two birds with one stone, which is what I like. Now I'm going to apply just a little bit. It's super creamy. And at first, I really thought that this was gonna like make me more oily, but no, it's been so nice. So I'm just going to apply this to the whole of my face. And if you have extra areas that get really oily, make sure to focus in on those sections. I definitely pat this under the eyes as well to eliminate with any um, cakiness under the eyes or like creasing or anything like that. Now I am using this sparingly you guys because it does cost a pretty penny. I mean at $58 you mean you should be using it sparingly unless, hey, you got money like that to blow all the time, then girl, I don't blame you. But you really don't need much of this stuff. A little bit goes a long, long way. So I'm gonna just let that all marinate for a minute so it can soak into my skin. What I do love about this is although it just looks, you know, normal, like I'm a little bit more glowy and stuff like that, which is nice but you know, it really provides such a smooth base for the makeup. Um, there's just something about the ingredients, whatever they've done to this thing that makes it just look like go on like a dream. Now, of course, let's be realistic. You know, if you've got a lot of acne, let's not like expect miracles here. Unfortunately, like I can't test that out because 
I don't currently have any, you know, huge breakouts on my face. So now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. I'm using my Cover FX in the uh, shade N90. I really like this because it has a very like natural finish for those of you guys that want like a good everyday kind of foundation. Okay, so I put on a really like light base of foundation and now I'm just gonna show you guys what uh, my concealer looks like with this on and then we're gonna go ahead and skip to kind of like what my makeup looks like when it's freshly done so you guys can get a good idea of how this primer performs. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I did the rest of my face and I did set my face with a MAC Fix Plus and also a little bit of the Urban Decay setting spray. This is just what I normally do in my normal makeup routine. So um, I'm going to show you guys in about six hours. I'm going to come back. I'm going to check in. So far, so good. Looks really nice. Really smooth, not oily, yet I don't look like matte cake face, you know? So yeah, I'll be back in about six hours and uh, we'll see how this holds up. Hey guys, so it's my six hour check-in and as you can see, this is how my skin looks like with the primer. I have done no touch-ups. Um, I haven't even touched up my lipstick <laughs> and I've eaten a few meals since uh, you guys last saw me. So the primer holds up really well. Usually by now my forehead is hella, hella, hella oily. Like a lot. It's really, really oily if I don't touch it up. And my T-zone looks pretty good and also my cheeks look nice. I just look a little bit more dewy whereas before I looked, you know, slightly matte. So um, yeah, I mean, I just wanted to show you guys a real representation of how this primer performs. And if you guys have tried this primer, please let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. I hope this was really, really helpful. Bye.